Hello everyone, I'm here with Miss Paula J. Parker. How are you doing this evening? I'm very blessed and thankful. How are you? I'm well. First off, I want to start off by saying I'm a Howard alumni. Hey. hey. And you know this man. And on top of that, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So how cool oh, is that? Oh, she's yes. me. She yeah. is me. I'm the little you. You are, aw. She's a little me. Aren't we so cute? My baby. <laughs> Yes. Where are you so, from in Cleveland, baby? Cleveland Heights. I graduated from Heights. I graduated from Cleveland Heights. Because, you know, I went to Shaker from, uh, ooh, 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 <laughs> yeah. from first to 11th, okay. and then I did senior year at Heights. Okay, well. So I get claimed by Heights and Shaker. Uh, so I claim them both. Yeah. But technically, I'm a Shaker Heights girl. And how did you transition from Cleveland to D.C.? Well, college. Yeah, well, you know, I went to Howard. Yeah. I changed from Shaker to Heights because of the racism. You know, I had won the, um, I was student council president, and then they bragged about the fact that they had cheated and made me lose. And I just said, forget it. I'm tired of being, you know, disrespected at this school because it's predominantly white. And I moved to Heights where it was more multicultural and like more of a melting pot. And from there, I went to Howard University in Washington, D.C. Bison. Go Bison. Bison's in the house. It's Forrest. Hello, how are you doing? Forrest Martin. Yes, he went to Dillard, which is also an HBCU school. Okay, welcome. He's typical Howard. <laughs> but yeah, I dated um, Hollywood and Hollywood if Hollywood could. And then I ended up marrying a real mom, man. A real man. Yes, yes, yes. So how did your uh, Hollywood friends treat you when you decided to go with him? Um, a little distant. You know, Hollywood is very cliquish, and they're about the money and the illusion and all the drama. But I'm about the soul, and I'm about the love. And you can't help what you fall in love with. It just is what it, what it is. When it is, what it is. That's you true. just do what you do. So I'm thankful that my husband and I were able to come together and in love and create and you know god had a plan that was higher than man's plan so yeah man threw me away but hollywood divas picked me back up and dusted me off and i'm starting all over again well how you doing oh, nothing wrong with that i love you <laughs> i love you too but besides hollywood Divas, you're working on another project as well um well hollywood divas enabled us to create our own project so we have a pilot that we produced five of us my husband wrote I directed we all starred in and you know look out for that it's called the white sisters it's okay. it will be coming to you so viciously very soon okay, I'm proud of you congratulations Thank you, oh, baby. what should I expect to see from the show from you what, what is your character are you gonna be the, the diva the bossy one well, the they're sassy calling one? me the Nini and oh, of course Lord. there can never be another Nini but you know diva is trying um, well you know basically I'm allowed to diversify my talents and not only act but direct so you'll see a lot of directing from me a lot of making things happen a lot of pushing um, that how we're hustling you yeah in Cleveland too yes 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 now, last question can you tell me what it, what is a diva to you a diva is another word for a hustler a hustler, a hustler. <laughs> so yes a diva you know, history has made anything feminine and aggressive and positive negative. But a diva is just a feminine woman about her business. Right. Nothing negative. It's not a bad thing. Never, never, never that. All right. Well, there you have it, everyone from Paula. Stay tuned with uh, Hollywood Divas on HHBmedia.com.